Phil will honor our country's veterans with a big parade this weekend. It steps off Saturday morning at 11. Here's a look at that parade route right now. It starts at Lot K on Woodson Street. It will also do a pass by the Veterans Memorial on Monroe Street and end near the Lumber Yard on Cleveland Avenue. But before that parade steps off Saturday morning, there will be a special breakfast to honor our local Gold Star families. I sat down with a Gold Star mother to learn what this annual event means to them. There was never any doubt Jeffrey Hall would be a soldier. All he wanted to wear was camouflage clothes. When he graduated high school, he had already pre-enlisted. Life was good. Staff Sergeant Jeffrey Hall not only achieved his dreams, but he flourished as an Army Ranger. He was so excited um, to be tabbed to realize his goals and to make it happen and to be ready to step out and, and lead, which is what he wanted to do. And even met some unexpected twists along the way. Jeffrey never thought he would have a wife or a family because he knew he was, he was military. He was always gonna be military. Um, he thought he was uh, too much of a tough old nut. Jeffrey's daughter was born six months before he left on his third deployment. We're eternally grateful he had the opportunity to be a husband and, and a dad. On June 1st, 2009, Annette Hall and her family would join a group no one ever wants to join. Her mother's intuition kicked in when her husband answered the door. He said, um, there's two military people on the front porch, so I knew, you know, I knew. And um, he had been killed 11 hours earlier, um, an IED. Um, four men were killed that day in that vehicle and two survived. His family, including his 11-month-old daughter, left to navigate the world without him. It was his destiny. It was what he was meant to do. It was what he loved to do. He saw the world in black and white. He felt like it was his mission to stand for right and wrong. I often refer to him as one of God's warriors, and I believe that in my heart. Like others, the Halls have been recognized in the past at Huntsville's annual Gold Star Family Breakfast. She says it's the love of the community that comforts families like hers. As a family member, you want to talk about that loved one. Uh, it, it brings joy to your heart to know that they're remembered, that they're not forgotten, and that their sacrifice is recognized. And for details on the North Alabama chapter of Gold Star Mothers and all of the events set to take place this weekend in celebration of our veterans, you can find this story right now on WayTV.com, including that breakfast.